Hey there guys, in today's video, I'm going to quickly share with you how to package a flat application from a custom build template. As you might know, flat makes use of a build template in order to package your applications. And this build template is simply a Flutter bootstrap project made with cookie cutter. For one reason or the other, you might want to make modifications to this template. In that case, you need to let flat know when packaging your application that it should use your custom build template instead of the default one. Your build template can come from two types of sources, either from a Git repository like this one or from a local directory. If you want to make your modifications in a local directory and then later on specify to flat, you simply have to come over here to these branches. You select the branch that corresponds to your flat version or the branch that corresponds to the template you want to modify. In this case, for instance, I'm going to choose 0.24.1 because that's the version of flat installed on my IDE or in my virtual environment. Inside the 0.24.1 branch or version of the template, you simply have to click on code and then download the zip. After the zip gets downloaded, you simply have to extract it and then make your modifications. If you don't want to make your changes locally, you can equally do it inside a Git repository. For that, you simply fork this one over here. So we click on create a new fork. You can rename the repository, you can modify the description and uh, you need to uncheck the copy the main branch only and then click on create new fork now that your fork has been created successfully and you are ready to perform your modifications i suggest you change the branch so don't work on the main branch instead locate the version of flat you have or the version of the template you want to modify in our case i'm going to select 0.24.1 and from here i'm going to create a new branch so i'm not going to modify this 0.24.1 of our fork i'm going to leave it intact but i'm going to create my version of this 0.24.1 so from this find or create a branch you simply type in let's say custom 0.24.1 and you're going to see over here create branch custom 0.24.1 from 0.24.1 so that will be our custom branch of this version click on it and the branch has been created successfully so move to the list of branches you can see the version of our template is there custom 0.24.1 and we have the other branches left intact and inside this branch you can now perform your modifications so i don't know you can modify anything you want to modify over here as an advanced flat user after performing your modifications you are now ready to let flat know it should use the custom version of your template and not the default one so i'm going to head over to my ide i have my project over here named app background and foreground so from one of my tutorials i'm just going to reuse it i'm inside the app background and foreground project you type flat build each to see the help and towards the bottom you're going to see these three properties or these three options over here so you have the template which is a directory containing the template or a url to a git repository template so this url can be the url to a fork so it depends on you if you have a local directory containing your template you can simply provide it here or if you're using a fork you can equally provide the url of the fork over here you have the template ref which is the branch tag or commit to check out after cloning this repository so the branch in our case can be custom 0.24.1 which is the new branch i created on my fork so cookie cutter which is responsible for dealing with the template is going to clone this repository and then check out this template ref you specify so the branch tag or commit you specify and then move into this template z so template z is simply a relative path to a flutter bootstrap template in a repository so let's say you provide a link to a repository but the direct or the root of your repository does not contain your custom template it is let's say in a subfolder you can use this template z to specify the subfolder so cookie cutter is first going to clone this template you specify over here then it's going to check out the template ref so the branch tag or commit id and it's going to move inside this template z so template z is simply the relative part to a flutter bootstrap template in a repository which means if you provide a repository through a link let's say and your template is not located directly at the root of your project or at the root of your repository but instead located in a subfolder then you need to use this template z to tell cookie cutter hey after you clone the repository and after you check out the template ref move to this template z where my flutter bootstrap template is located so that's simply how it goes about it and also note that 
when specifying a URL to a Git repository template, you can specify like this. So gh semicolon, the name of the organization or the name of the GitHub account, and then the name of the repository, or you can use this normal form with .git. So as an example, you can have the following, create build apk template, I specify the template, so my fork like this, and then I specify the template ref, so custom 0.24.1, which is the branch to check out after cloning this repository over here. So you can press enter and it's going to work. If your template is located in a local directory, you can simply specify the absolute path to it. So I have over here my template, I'll copy the absolute path and you can simply place it directly after the template over here. And just a last information, if this flat view template, so if the template you downloaded and then modify is located inside your application directory, flat is going to package it along with your application. So if let's say this template, I move it to my directory. So I have my custom view template inside my application directory. In this case, when packaging the application, Flat is going to carry this build template along with my application files. And this might lead to an increase in the size of the output. You need to tell Flat to ignore this Flat build template. For that, there is an option over here, which is the exclude option, which excludes files and directories from a Python application package. So this is how my command is going to look like. So here I'm specifying my template. And here I'm telling Flat to exclude it when building my application so that it doesn't increase the size of my app all right guys that's all for today if you found this video helpful make sure you like and subscribe for more exciting flat content as usual if you have any questions or face any issues please drop them in the comments and i'm going to respond to you as soon as possible this was the ethical boy thanks for watching